So if you didn't realize that was just a new intro you just saw, hey guys, welcome back to Touch by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender, and I'm gonna go and show you a bit of my process for creating uh, a new intro. I'm gonna, we're gonna be creating my new intro, and I figured I'd do this with you guys today, um, and I'll just go through a couple of the things that I'm doing here, of course, the, all the basic stuff we do, and I think I have an, a, a pretty good idea of what I want to do, um, but I'm not exactly sure yet. All right, so I just grabbed two images as planes, um, and the, the first one is the uh, new background that I've created, and then, of course, the uh, the Touch by Kai logo. So what we're going to do with these two, so I'm going to move this way up here so we can see what's going on with it. Um, I'm going to scale up my, my background that I created uh, moments ago, and I'm going to get rid of the grid because we don't need the grid, and it's bugging me. Um, so this is gonna be like a little, little bit of a process video. I don't do a lot of these. I think I, I think I should do more process videos, but um, we're gonna simplify our intro today. Um, I'm gonna make the start frame zero, and I think what I want to do here is I'm gonna go into the edit mode of our our background, just create a couple of loop cuts here, just enough so it looks smooth. Um, that's quite a lot. Let's do 60 instead of 70. Yeah, there we go. All right, so now um, I'm thinking. This will be a pretty cool looking thing if I can pull this off. We can go ahead and go to the shape keys and we'll just add in two shape keys. I'll make the first key, well key one. Um, I'll go ahead and select both of these. I'll just use a line tool and we'll turn on proportional editing by hitting O and I'll just move this, I'll scroll it down like this, right? And we'll do something like that, right? Yeah, and then this, in the second key, I'll make another key and this key will do the same thing but just the other side. Yeah, buddy. All right, so that looks pretty cool. So if I go ahead and I was to animate this now, let me go ahead and animate our plane moving it upwards. Uh, so on the 10th frame, I want it to get to where it's supposed to be going. I want 60 frames as well. Uh, we'll do 60 frames for this intro because my other intro is not 60 frames. Um, we'll remove that. We'll go ahead and add in a location on frame 20 and we'll move it down on frame one. Yeah. All right, so then for the animation, instead of this plane, this background just coming and swooping up like that, I kind of want, let me change that, and then ambient occlusion. Uh, yeah, okay, sweet. So before I, let's do that now. Let's animate the um, let's animate the sides. I think this should be pretty easy to do, I think. Uh, what I want to do is I want to have this look like it's jiggling in. So that'll be pretty sweet. I'll go ahead and add in a keyframe right there and pull that all the way up. And then once it gets up about there, I'll put that back on zero. And then on frame 15, I'll make keyframe two go into play. Uh, ooh, no, we will have to do this backwards. Okay, no, wait. All right, I got you. I got you. We have to move this up instead of down. Yeah, perfect. Okay, uh, so that's better. All right, then keyframe uh, 15, then we'll go up to like 35. And pull that up a little bit. All right, so I've decided to completely nix the jiggling altogether. I I got it to where I wanted it, and I just don't like it. I want it just to kind of smooth in like that, but I think that might be a bit too fast. So what we'll do is we'll spread that out a little bit. Um, yeah, that's more smooth, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, maybe a little bit faster. Oh yeah, okay, that's better. That's much better. Uh, smooth. All right, so on frame 20, I'm gonna have it rotated uh, on R uh, Y 90, and then we'll hit uh, rotation on that. I lo I rotation on that, and then we'll have it be almost straight by the time it gets to frame 40, and then it'll smooth. Oh no, All right, we need to insert the keyframe, and then we'll have it smooth out to 70 uh, once it gets there. All right. Uh, yeah. Okay. So that's very similar to what we have now, but it's it's different. Um, I like, I want it to start, I don't, I, want, I want it to start rotating, I don't want it to start rotating before we get to, uh, before the background is completely over it, that, that I don't like, I don't like that, so we'll move it up a little bit. I still think this is all too fast, so I'm gonna go double tap A and then scale up all of these keyframes, and we'll get something a bit slower. That's nicer. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, guys, so I've made it so the camera zooms out slowly, and I did make everything a bit more, uh, slow, so. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and hide the shadow of our uh, logo here. And uh, what else do I want to do with this? I think I want to do maybe a little bit of... Can we... Can I get away? No. See, I want to keep it really simple. That's what I'm trying to... That's what I'm trying to accomplish with this. 
Um, I think that's good the way it is, to be honest with you. And then we have to make sure that the uh, that the that it goes out. So I want it to go out, and we'll do the same thing we did here, but just downwards. Uh, so uh, we can't do this one. We have to do the other one. Okay. Uh, which one was the one that goes up? No, not that one. Key three. Yeah, there it is. Okay, sweet. Uh, so now we have that, and we go all the way to 230, I guess. And then we'll pull that down, and then we'll make sure uh, insert location. And then we'll have it go all the way down on frame such and such. <laughs> location, and then we should play it. And that's too fast, of course, which I knew it was going to be. So we just move those uh, keyframes down. All right, so we have this cool wiping uh, down animation as well. So now I want to go ahead and uh, make sure our logo follows suit and falls down with our background. And that didn't go. Uh, right there. Location. Yeah. All right, guys. So instead of having the logo go down, I had it just wipe uh, to the side. Well, not wipe, but uh, rotate to the side as well to make it vanquish. I think that's a pretty simple, pretty cool intro. I'm loving it. I think the end is now moving a bit too slow. No, you know what? I think that's fine because it's always gonna fade out when I'm like, "Hey, welcome back to Touch by Guy." My name's Guy. No, whatever. Uh, so I think that's I think that's good the way it is. Do I want to add some words? Is the question. Alright guys, so I have this uh, animation of this very, very light touch by Kai coming up at the bottom there and coming in and, and then disappearing, which looks pretty cool. Um, but I want to do one more thing before it's uh, it's complete. So I want to go ahead and I want to copy this text, uh, hit Shift D and then hit M to move it to another layer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, Control Alt C, or no, no, sorry, uh, Control, no, Alt, Alt C, uh, Mesh from Curve Meta Surf Text, and now this is an object, we can move it around. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing we did at the background to the text now. Uh, we're adding uh, a couple of different shape keys here. And I'm gonna select the entire first character. Uh, and then we'll go ahead, uh, face like mode. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and do the same thing, G. And then we'll just move it down like this. Uh, yeah. And then we'll do another shape key. And then this one will be uh, just this side over here. And we'll move it upwards. Yes. All right, perfect. Now, when this comes in, I want it to do the, the, cool, the cool little, the cool little swipey thing, like that, right? So the first frame will be, of course, frame sixty, and then we'll have it come up eventually, about right there. Alrighty, guys. One last time, I think that uh, text animation is good the way it is. Uh, I like it. I like it. It's very smooth, very wave-like. I love it. Um, and what I think we're going to do now is we're going to do the final render. I think that's going to be it. Maybe do I want to move that up just a little? Like, because I think it's, I feel as if it's kind of low. I've fiddled around with a couple of things. I've smoothed the background uh, coming into the shot. It's a bit more smooth now, if you can't tell up at the top there. I, I elongated the text, and now I think we are done. I did move it up as well. I think that is going to be the final render. I hope you guys enjoyed this bit of a process uh, for making the Touch by Kai intro. I don't think it took that long. Usually it takes me somewhere around a half an hour, maybe uh, 45 minutes for an intro. Um, or something like that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you guys like it because it's the new intro. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial process type video. But until then, bye bye.